Why be negative when you can start your mornings with a cold glass of almond milk, freshly baked avocado toast, doing your sun salute, and finish off with a morning run where you just can't help clapping along because you're happy. After all, you only live once. Or maybe there is a limit to how positive we should try to be. If we force ourselves not to feel negative and feel positive instead, that's dangerous. That is a pathway to um, unhappiness. Positive emotions are obviously really nice to have. But are they more than just a nice feeling? Do they somehow increase our survival? Together with Professor Barbara Fredrickson and rock sculptor Teva Victor. Definitely I'm a tree hugger. Definitely, you know, definitely. We explore how our positive emotions change the way our brain function, including our view on people of different races. It's time to find out just how happy you should be. We're two Danes sailing around the world to meet people, visit places, and explore the science behind what a good life is. All this at 10 kilometers an hour. Please join us as we explore life. We have reached the beautiful atoll of Fagarava. Like everywhere else in French Polynesia, every person we meet is very welcoming and positive. Welcome to Fagarava. Welcome to Fagarava. Positive emotions are obviously really nice to have. But are they also something we need to have? Do they affect us beyond just feeling good? To help us find some answers, we once again meet with Professor Papa Fredrickson. She has studied human emotions. Humans have emotions because our ancestors um, were faced threats to life and limb, and negative emotions kind of serve that function of mobilizing our attention and getting us to think about um, what's the right action that would help us um, save ourselves in this situation. Like, I want to escape, or I want to fight, or I want to just disappear from view. So negative emotions developed to help our ancestors make quick decisions in dangerous situations. But that theory doesn't explain why we've developed positive emotions. The ways positive emotions contribute to our survival happen on a different time scale. They happen because positive emotions, as we experience them, instead of narrowing our ideas about what to do next, they broadly open up our ideas about what to do next. When we're feeling joy or gratitude or inspiration, our, our peripheral vision expands, and when we're able to see more, we're able to link disparate ideas more, and so this openness just fundamentally changes the way the human brain works and allows us to grow and to learn things. One quite surprising example of how positive emotions broaden our view is a study on so-called own race bias, which refers to the finding that people are better at recognizing and distinguishing between faces of their own race than between faces of other races. This own race bias is found among all racial groups. But here, Barbara and her colleagues found that this own race bias could be removed simply by putting the persons being tested in a positive mood. The positive emotions somehow made them able to recognize faces of different races equally well. We see that peripheral vision expands or that people are more likely to think in terms of, of we rather than in terms of me versus you, kind of being more inclusive. The ability of positive emotions to broaden our view helps us take in new inputs, link our thoughts in new ways, and find new solutions. We simply become much more creative. To get a bit deeper into the connection between positivity and creativity, we had a chance to meet with contemporary artist and rock sculptor Teva Victor. He grew up right in the middle of nature, on a small island in Bora Bora, in French Polynesia. Like all the Polynesians, he gets a lot of his positive energy from nature. Nature is definitely a soothing and, and a resting and a 
reconnecting and a recharging place for me. Uh, I, I'm very much into things, everything is alive. In Polynesian way, it's also that way. And there's no doubt that Teva loves working in rock. The rocks come from the center of the earth. They come from the, from the lava. I mean, how, how badass that is. I mean, how, how incredible that is. That's, that's the most energy-packed area we can ever find. I mean, it's, it's kind of like the sun, you know? However, the rocks are a bit harder to work with. Rocks, in contrary to molding or to doing clay or something, you can put off, you can put back. Rocks you don't put back. There's no way to put back. So you have to be, you know, concentrated on what you're doing. When asked about how positive emotions affect his work, there was no doubt that feeling good really gets the creativity going. When I'm feeling good and when I'm feeling zen and when I'm feeling, you know, my environment, my wife, my children and everything is, is doing good and I'm feeling on a good vibe and on a good slope uh, going up and all, it, it, it definitely influences, it helps create better um, because creating is all the time. It's not just when I'm with the rock, but it's also outside, it's also in my dreams, it's also, it's all of that of which, which is the creative process. Now, the big question is, do we have enough positive emotions in our lives? I think that having enough positive emotions in our life is a real challenge. It's very easy to feel like we have to take in the world's bad news. Humans aren't designed to be able to handle all of that negativity at once or to deal with the concerns of millions. And in order for us to, to not be overwhelmed by negative emotions when they occur, we need to have positive emotions in greater frequency. And that's where we've looked at the ratio of positive emotions to negative emotions that seem to be most associated with health. And it's definitely more than one to one. We need three, four, five to one positive emotions to negative emotions in order to uh, balance out the intensity of um, the negative. Unfortunately, most people have a ratio of about two to one. So we do need to work on increasing our positive emotions. The better ways to uh, cultivate positive emotions are to step back and think, what are the activities or ways of thinking that bring me joy or make me feel grateful? So what tends to make a difference is if people prioritize um, activities and relationships in their daily life and spend time doing things that they know they enjoy. What exactly it is that builds our positive emotions is a very individual thing. So it's all about being better at paying attention to what things you enjoy and then prioritize if possible. It can be many different things. For Moihani, who we met in Rangiroa, weaving palm leaves was her favorite way of relaxing. She really liked weaving pretty much anything, from hats to Gucci bags. Now, while we do need more positive emotions in our lives, it doesn't mean that negative emotions should be chased away. You don't want to rule out negative emotions. Negative emotions are essential for survival. If we ignore that, if we ignore the, the, the circumstances that we're in and try to force ourselves not to feel negative and feel positive instead, that's dangerous. That is a pathway to um, unhappiness. Life gives us reasons to feel negative. We just have to not paper over those. It's our job to create the positive emotions to, to match up with and over, um, overcompensate for the, for the negative emotions. So our positive emotions help us broaden our view and makes us creative. To maintain a healthy balance in life, we need three or more positive to negative emotions. One way we can increase our number of positive emotions is by being grateful and paying more attention to what we like doing and prioritize if possible. And remember that it's not about removing negative emotions, but cultivating positive emotions enough to match up with and overcompensate for our negative emotions. You just need to find out 
what it is that you like. So when I'm down, definitely I'm a tree hugger. Definitely, you know, definitely. Of course, I'm gonna go and, and you know, swim and, and you know, hug trees and hug, hug rocks and whatever will bring me energy and, and tap into something that's true. I think it's, it's all about that, finding something that's true to you. Positive emotions are um, nature's way of making sure that we learn and become better versions of ourselves over time.